Phoenix Princess here and welcome back to Glitch Girl! Okay, so last time, so last time, uh, I got, well, I'm apparently I'm engaged and I stupidly said yes and grandmother talked for the first time saying blood orange repeatedly. Don't know what that means, so let's have a look and find out, shall we? Okay, yeah, I know, we know. Alright. Episode 10, the real you. Ooh, nice. Okay, I'm actually excited. Chris, I thought you said your grandma doesn't speak anymore. Yeah, well, apparently she just did. She doesn't. She hasn't spoken a, she hasn't spoken a single word since the electro bit explosion. Well, you spoke, it's a miracle. Okay, maybe I should ask if she's okay. Are you okay? And blood orange. Blood orange. What does that even mean? What does that mean, Grandma? Seth, don't look at me. I've, I've got no idea. I mean, a blood orange is a dark red orange, right? I is it? You're a cocktail waitress and you never heard of blood orange. I've never heard of it. An ex cocktail waitress, and none of our recipes include blood oranges. Okay, where is this going? I guess I've never seen any in New York. You probably have to go to Europe to find them. Are you telling me you want to eat blood oranges, Grandma? I don't think that's it. Blood orange. What am I gonna do, Seth? Uh, the only what? The only the one and only thing she ever she ever requested, and I don't get it. Are you sure you can't get one? You're the one who said they don't sell them in New York. New York. <laughs> Sorry, it's in New York. What? Why do you have to get one from New York? You have you have access to the entire world. Oh my God, the translator! Yeah, no kid. Transporter. Damn, what is with me today? Of course. Where do you think blood oranges grow? I think they're Spanish. No, wait, Italian. I don't know what they are. Something tells me it's either Venice or Sicily. <laughs> One of those would be your best bet. Okay, uh, where should I go? Let's go here first, that might be our best bet. I'll try Vienatska, I don't know. If, if I'm pronouncing this wrong, I am so sorry. Zap me to Spain, Seth! That is really cool. <laughs> oh, wow! Whoa, this is so much... Whoa, it is so much hotter than... Here, then new vocal. It's Spain. Okay, I shouldn't waste time. Gotta think, gotta think. Where can I find them? Oh, what do you know? Seth te teleported me directly next to the blood orange tree. Okay, first guess it actually goes well. He's on top form. Okay, if this is what she needs. Okay, Seth. Alright, I got one, Seth. Zap me back to the apartment. Oy. Any luck? You betcha. Grandma, am I the best granddaughter ever or what? What was that? I have I have for you one juicy ripe blood orange. Huh, they actually exist. She doesn't want it. I think she means something else. Blood orange, blood orange, blood orange! Okay, what is that? I don't get it. What else could she want? What about juice? What about it? Maybe she wants a glass glass of blood orange juice? I've no I've actually seen it in the grocery store here in New York. Is that what you like, Grandma? Some blood orange juice. Blood orange. I guess it's worth a try. Okay, I am getting really confused here. Alright, it's getting late. I better head back to my place. Wanna ride right to the grocery store at the end of the road? That'd be great. Thanks, Seth. Okay, where is this going? Is anyone else confused or is it just me? <laughs> blood orange juice, blood orange juice. Is this actually a thing? Oh, here it is. Huh. Wait, there's regular. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's an actual thing. Wait, there's regular organic or soda. Um, well, duh. She said blood orange juice. I'm going with this store. I got you some blood orange juice. Just wait until you 
just what you want, right, Grandma? Go ahead, take a sip. Oh. You don't like it. Oh, Grandma, I wish I knew what you wanted. Okay, this is getting upsetting. You don't actually you don't actually want anything, do you? Those are just random words. Of course they are. Oh, Grandma, I should have I should have realized. I guess deep down I knew, but but what? I was trying to convince myself it was the real you talking. I miss the real you, Grandma. I miss her so much. Oh, but she's gone, isn't she? Okay, this is getting heartbreaking. I have to accept that. The real you died the day of the explosion. Okay, this is really getting upsetting. Uh, let's try to... Let's get you to bed, hey? I'll sing you that lullaby you always sang to me as a child. And stroke your face gently, just like you always did with me. Oh, at least she's keeping her memory alive. Or am I am. I gotta go... I've got to try to get my mind off Grandma somehow. Think about her t Think about her the way she is. It's just too upsetting. Yeah, I'll say. I know I... I oh, sorry, I'm losing it. I know what I, ha I could do. Go shopping for my wedding dress. All right. Yes, I'll make sure Grandma's okay in the morning and I'll go try some on. Yay! Okay, wedding dresses. I normally get good minds off. Whoa, look at all these selections of wedding dresses. Okay, now I'm getting excited and giddy. Yes, here at Bridal Boutique New York, we have the most exclusive selections of... Oh my! You're an energy woman! What? Is everyone going to keep calling me that? Uh, I'm still not sure how I feel about that name. I'm going with this! Glitch Girl sounds better, don't you think? Glitch Girl? I love it! Thank you! Why don't you change it to that? My future husband isn't a fan. Oh dear, I hope you don't have any... I hope you're not having relationship troubles already. It doesn't bound well if none if you're having them, but be before you even tried that tied the knot. <laughs> Wait, we no, we we ain't argue. We are. <laughs> I love Seth a bit and would make a great married couple. <laughs> okay, this is really getting good now. Well, I guess. Well, I can't just give any old dress to a real life superhero. I had the perfect dress for you. Oh, it's going to cost me diamonds, isn't it? It's our most exclusive, most stunning, gorgeous dress you could ever imagine. Follow me, darling. It's going to cost me diamonds. I know it. Oh, but I saw... If I have enough, I will. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. That's gorgeous. <laughs> you look... I'm speechless. You're right. This is my dream wedding dress. It's everything I've ever wanted. How much is it? It's free for... Three thousand dollars. What the hell? Well, I okay. To be fair, I've seen more expensive things. Whoa! Oh, come on! I'm just one off. Yeah, I'm just one off. So not fair. Mm. Let's see what the other one looks like. I'm afraid it's too expensive. Can I try a slightly cheaper one? Of course, dear. Oh, this is gonna look awful. Bad. That's not bad. I actually kind of like it. Uh, it's okay, but it's not my dream wedding dress. I'll wear this. Mm, damn you, game! It's not bad actually. I kind of like it. This other one. The other one is just too expensive. I'll take this. Your future husband is a very lucky man. Now let's get you back out. Now let's get you back out of that dress so we can wrap it up ready for your big day. My phone is buzzing again. A vi a video call. What the Harper? Grace, there's no time to explain. Harper? I'm in trouble! Please help me! Huh? What the? What the? What the Harper? Harper? Oh, what is happening? Well, that was quick. <laughs> to be continued. Okay, that was a quick episode. <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I don't know what's going on. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Oh god, is this game actually glitching my own phone? Episode 11, Till Death Do Us Part. Okay, the wedding is coming very quick on this one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I have to go. 
but you're still wearing the dress. Ah, I'll take it'll take me ages to get out of this thing. If I don't go now, Harper could be killed. But if I haven't even paid for it yet. Mm, no, I have to go there right now. Uh, I'm so sorry, somebody's in real trouble. I'll come back and pay for the dress as soon as I'm done. But Oh, what the hell? Don't worry, hearts, I'm coming for you! Okay. Where is she? I can't see her. Harper! Where are you? Oh, what the hell? Grace? Over here! Okay, that was a scream. Help! That came from behind me. Oh, what the hell? Oh, crap. I knew it! I used to love that smile of yours, Harper. It's such a shame they'll be missing several teeth once my boys are done with you. What is going on? I thought Harper was being attacked by a blue droid. But it's Twiggy and her gut and her cornies. Let's see. Step away from my bestie! Mm. Well, look at it! Wait, is that a wedding dress? I'll explain later. Oh my god, you get some oh My god, what is with you, woman? What, you're nuts! I am not nuts. You kinda are. I am a woman who was in love. <laughs> A woman who had to, a woman who had love brutally ripped away from her. No, well, let's, well, let this be a lesson to anyone out here. No one does Twiggy's Hornell and gets away with it. Tornelli. Yeah, Tornelli, that's my so surname. <laughs> I'm going to so have a bit of fun with... You sound like a filled pasta. What did you say? Okay, bad idea. I said you sound like filled pasta. With twig with twigs mixed in to make a dis Ah, there we go. Yeah, something was up on my phone. With twigs mixed in to make it a dis to make it to make it taste extra disgusting. Just you wait, Griffin. Oh, what now? Once I'm done with done with Harper, I'm coming for you. I'll get my I'll get my garlic bread ready. <laughs> I just remembered you messed with my phone. Oh, she found that out. Two tooth Tony had no idea what I was talking about when I turned up turned up at his place. It was you, wasn't it? Um, using those freaky powers you've been bra bragging about on TV. Yep, yep, might as well admit it. Yes, Baniga. You think that was funny? Oh boy. I nearly had my left ear chopped off for accusing Tony of lying to me. Oh boy. Shame he didn't follow through with that. Am I trying to get myself killed? I haven't proved your face. Oh, oh, you're gonna get it now. But first, I ain't finished re, re reattaching up a smile. Get her, girl, boys. <laughs> Grace, help me. Don't worry, hearts. I got this. Oh, what can I do? There's nothing close to fit to these fogs I can glitch. Hmm. Let's be forceful. Okay, I don't think polite's gonna work, so let's try forceful. You two step away from Harper now. Oh, that actually works. She hasn't done anything to you. This is a personal issue between her and Twiggy. Mm. Don't listen to her. I mean you generously to rough up Harper, remember? Mm. Generously? 
I think we deserve more than 50 bucks for this, don't you, don't you, guys? Yeah, we deserve at least 55. You're gonna beat up an innocent girl for 50 bucks. Okay, that's low. How desperate are you guys? You wanna offer us more to step away? Um, uh, yes, what? What are you doing? Wait, I want to hear her offer. Okay. Hmm. Let's try. What should I offer them? Uh, let's try 500. I'll give you 500 bucks. 500 bucks. That's more. That's more than 50, right, Gino? Yes. Yes, it's more than 50, knucklehead. Show us the money and we'll leave your friend alone. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, you've got to be joking. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't got a choice, have I? Damn it. I don't have the money. I didn't think so. Oh, no. Time to deal with time to deal some damage. Wait! I have to think of something first. Wait, didn't didn't they? Wait, don't I see a cash machine close by? Of course. Yes! I could glitch in, make it cut much as much cash as I want. Really? You couldn't fill a for the first time. Not exactly the typical behaviour of a superhero. But hey, Happer's life is at risk. It's time to do what I do best. Cash machine, go crazy! Oh, okay. Ah, uh, are you just the uh, the ATM behind me is busted? It's cutting out free cash. Nice try, Griffin. No one's gonna believe that. Or them okay maybe it did work I see Benjamin Franklin's face <laughs> wait what don't you dare go after that money screw you te screw you I can't say it. I don't know how to say that it's tortellini damn it tortellini <laughs> Okay, that is real funny. You stay where you are. Not gonna happen. Okay, well that works. Happen one. I have to make sure Swiggy doesn't chase after her. Her phone is most likely in her pocket. If I glitch it hard enough, I wonder if I can make it give her a shock. What? No time to wonder. Just gotta try. Okay, please. Okay, Twiggy's phone. Electric shock! Oh, oh, wow, wow. Oh, hello! <laughs> okay, what is happening with this cash? I can, I can seriously pump up my cash. Okay. And I can finally get, ri get my hem. Okay, I'm not saying that word. <laughs> This is the best day Eva. What? Over the next two weeks, you and Seth save dozens more citizens from Zero's wrath. But I can't locate Eliza Zemix. Before you know it, your wedding day is upon you. Wait, is this happening now? Grandma, you look absolutely beautiful. Pink, what? Pink to make the boys wink. Do you like my wedding dress? And still not talking. Blood orange again. I wish you could say something other than that, but I know you can't. I love you, Grandma. Oh, this is so sad. You know that, right? Right, we better go. I can't wait outside. Why like this? Oh, come on. What the hell? Mm -hmm. 
Ladies and gentlemen, friend, family, friends and fans, we are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the joining of our incredible heroes Grace Griffin and Seth Foxwell, Foxwell in marriage. With love and commitment, they have declared to live their lives together as husband and wife, to not only protect and care for the people of New York, but to protect, care and for to protect, care for and love for each other. <sighs> I will hand over the br I will hand over to ha I will hand now hand over to the bride and groom for t for the reading of the vows. Come on, Seth, please go first. <clears throat> Grace, when I first saw when I first walked into jo Jono's, I saw you behind that bar. I knew you were the one. I fell in love with you, and in, in that moment, okay, one second. Okay, when we decided to step up as superheroes together, my love for you only increased. You're everything to me, and I can't imagine the rest of my journey through life without you. With that said, I will continue to love you, hold you, and honor you. Oh, this is sweet. And I will respect you, encourage you, and cherish you from this day forth until death do us part. Thank you, Seth. Grace. Seth, when I met you, I still had hang up on the other guy I honestly thought no one else would compare but you changed everything you opened my heart and showed me what true love is let's see Seth ah uh, let's go with this I promise to love and respect you mm, through, the, through the good times and the bad times through, from now until forever <laughs> okay my this is getting good Beautiful vows. Now, without further ado, Seth, do you take Grace Griffin to be our lawfully wed wife? I do. Okay, this is happening really fast. Can I just say it? And again, I said yes. Grace, do you take Seth Foxwell to be our lawfully wed husband? What the? Oh, are you kidding me, dude? Citizens of Newvork, my, bl my blue joys have, fa have had fun toying with you. But playtime is over. It's zero time. What? Okay. You are all about to die. What? Okay, what just happened? Okay, you interrupted my wedding. What the hell? Okay, okay, well, it looks like I got my phone fixed. Okay, okay, looks like the phone's fixed, it's not glitching anymore. I think this game's doing something to it. Okay, episode 12, the cat, the what, the caraquism? I don't know. Okay, so, Zero interrupted my wedding. Playtime is over. As an unco as an unterous as as an uncl as an altar is closed time today, I am going to send out a glitch. This glitch will affect all computers and automobile mo automobiles. <laughs> Cars will smash into buildings. Trains will derail and become speeding fireballs. <laughs> oh my god! And planes will fall from the sky. <laughs> if you survive this ca carnage. You will be alive in the world of pure and utter anarchy. One where status has no meaning. Your phones will be dead. Your social media profiles deleted. And your credit cards worthless, pl worthless pieces of plastic. Get ready. What is happening? The cat... The cat... Has what the cataclysm happens today? What is going on? I what is happening? Shall shall I continue? Uh, no, no, I am not letting him ruin this. We will con 
continue the ceremony. Um, where was I? Seth, do you take... No, that's not right. Seth, do you take... You already did me. It's Grace's turn. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, um, Grace, do you take... Gra <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, we're all going to die and we're acting like nothing's wrong. Well, excuse me. This is... Please, just allow us to get married. All right, I've got this. Grace, do you take Seth Foxwell to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Okay. <laughs> okay, that went well. Does this mean I can leave? I desperately want to go home and hug my kids. Yes, of course. Go, go. <laughs> what is going on? We have to find Eliza and put a stop to this. And we have to do it right now. Okay, everyone who's left, listen to me. I know it's difficult, but try not to panic. Zero should not be feared. That's exactly what she wants. And, yeah, that's right. Zero's a she. Her name is Eliza Zemix. She was a former Electrobit employee. We don't know where she's hiding, but we will find out. Once we do, this will come to an end. We will save you. <laughs> okay, got way into that then. <laughs> we need to teleport to my place and come up with a plan. Wait, what about Grandma? We can't just leave her here. I can look after you, Grandma. Huh? Violet! If you don't mind giving me the keys to your apartment, I take her home to make sure she's okay. Hmm. Should well, I trust her enough, yes. Oh, you're the best. Thank you. Good luck, guys. I believe in you. I think we better get our costumes on. You don't think I can save the world in my wedding dress? It's not the most practical of outfits. <laughs> Who are you? Grace, do you know this guy? Was he on the guest list? Um, no. Can we help you? My name's Peter. I'm a huge fan of both of you. I'm also a lab technician ne and Netrobit. What? Is it true you really think Eliza Zemix is zero? We don't think we know it's her. Do you know Eliza? No, I only started working at Electrobit a year and a half ago. But I can, I can access to something that might be interest to you. Her personal computer. Yes! Yes, get that now! When she disappeared, they locked it away. There may be information on there like search history or notes. Information that could reveal a hiding place. Yes! That would be a huge help! Yes, we should so Yes, we should go straight to Electrobit. Does this mean I get to experience your infamous teleportation device? It does indeed! Fanboy moment! <laughs> Okay, well I've had a lot of fangirl moments, so I'm not judging. <laughs> okay, we're here. Access denied. It's password protected. Of course it is. Thank goodness I'm Glitch Girl, right? Glitch Girl? Yes, I'm going with that name. Deal with it. Grace, we discussed that name. You're an energy woman. Glitch Girl sounds childish, remember? Oh yeah. I just think Glitch Girl is catchier and it makes even more sense. Never mind. Oh, really, I'm giving up. Thank goodness I'm energy woman. I'm really not a big fan of the name myself. Alright. Okay, bypass login. Oh, it doesn't work. It, do it might take a while. Just keep trying, Grace. Come on, computer, let me in. You were in the explosion two years ago, right? Yep, front row. That's how I got these powers. You, pro you were probably kept here for a while afterwards. Yeah, they kept me and my grandma in for almost a week. Mo monitoring us, cleaning our bodies of toxins and stuff. Using experiment, using expensive equipment to repair some broken bones. They didn't pick up on the fact that I gained superpowers, though. Here's something you might not know. What? Oh, is this going to be a shock reveal? Eliza was in charge of the recovery program. What? She what now? What? Really? Yeah, although from what I hear, it was behind the scenes kind of role. It was shortly after the program finished that she took all of her belongings and disappeared. What? That makes no sense. To become zero. 
Pretty weird to think the woman in charge of the recovery program was also the one who caused the injuries. Okay, this is becoming this is becoming more and more less sense. This isn't working at all. Sorry, that's my fault. I needed to distract you. What? Distract us from what? No, that's not. There's something built into the computer that's blocking me. Oh, it's more powerful than my glitching ability. Of course. Anti 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 hack technology. Oh, we don't have time for this. Eliza could start the cataclysm at any moment. Oh, we need to come up with a different plan. Peter, thank you so much for suggesting this, but we're wasting our time here. Okay, that's a little harsh. Wait, there's something you could... No, I can't take that risk. What? I take anything. What are you talking about? What risk? Remember on stage when I, t when I tried to levitate you closer to your target? <laughs> now I'm busy. <laughs> oh, don't worry, she won't kill me. Well, since I've been working on something to fix that distance problem, something to boost the strength of your glitching ability, I call it the overdriver. What the heck does that do? If we use it, your ability might be powerful enough to break through the firewall. We have to go, we have to go, we have to go get this overdriver. There's just one problem. It takes energy from any, anywhere it can get it. Including vital organs. Oh, okay, now I see the problem. If you could... One second. Okay. Okay, if you use it, there's no telling what irreplaceable damage it could do to you. Okay. Okay, what was that? Okay, I'm getting more of that. Okay. If we don't use this overdrive, we could be too late. But if it, we, but if we do use it, it could kill me. Oh, are you joking? Are you serious? Reveal. Oh, oh no, we said. Oh no, use the diamonds to reveal safe plan. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, from what I can, okay, I'm gonna take probably the biggest risk that I have taken so far in this game. I'm gonna use the overdrive. I've got no other choice. I want to use the overdriver. But what if? If we don't find Eliza in time, we could all die anyway. Uh, I have to take this risk. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're right. Peter, we'll, ha we'll be back in five minutes. Okay, so what is our plan? <sighs> to boost comp to boost comforts we need is in my storage unit at the end of the hall behind you. Could you grab it while I get the fire fi mm. flame works? Yes, of course. <clears throat> in an okay, ma. Jeez, I'm so sorry for this. <gasps> what? What is it? Oh, okay. There's a bi biohazard symbol. Yeah, no freaking door. What the heck has Seth been up to down here? Okay, that is a little suspicious. Anyway, magnets in the storage units. And I'm not a little bit curious what's behind that door. Got it. Grace just hit me. What What did? The cataclysm. It's the biggest threat the city has ever had. It, if we defeat Eliza before she gr triggers the glitch, we'll be the most legendary superheroes to ever exist. Okay, that's besides the point. We won't have... We won't just have ma match the status of Ultraman and an extra woman. We'll have we'll have exceeded them. Pretty crazy, huh? Um, Seth, why why is there a door with a ha biohazard sign on it? Oh man, that was a failed experiment. I tried fusing two rare chemicals for an invention I was working on a few years back. I accidentally ending up creating a super poisonous slime. The entire room is fr is frattering with toxic g green goo. Whatever you do, don't go in there. It could it it be certain death. Okay, thanks for the heads up. Don't don't worry, I'm certainly not planning on it. Come on, let's get back to Electro bit. All right, what is going on? All right, okay. There's okay. That's the entire compact on the type on the hard drive expected. I'll send the files to your phone. Got him. 
File transfer complete. Look, there's a photo. There's a photo called Escape Plan, and a document called Going into Hiding. We've got ya. Okay, here we go. This is it. Miss My Zero Ionic Scam has been has met with uh, ex expert op options. Electrobit is full of literal minded fools. But but though but those fools have power. If you ever decide to send against me, they could act, destroy everything I've worked for, and worse, have me locked up for for my ex for my views. That's why I decided to set up a hiding place in a place no one will ever find me. A place I'll never write down in case this computer is hacked. Okay, clever girl. There is that's just one problem. Someone overheard me talking to myself yesterday. Someone too chatty for her own good. Mary Griffin? What? What the hell? Grandma? What the fuck? Your grandma is Mary Griffin. That's perfect. All you have to do is ask her what she heard. Yeah, one problem. She can't speak. No, this isn't perfect in any way. Grandma was injured in the explosion that Eliza caused. It's knocked her brain loose. She hasn't said anything since. At least not anything that makes any sense. Whatever, inf what, whatever information was once in her brain, it's long gone. Okay, now this is what the hell is going on. There's nothing we can do. Okay, I'm not giving up this easy. We have to start looking. Looking where? Eliza could be anywhere in the country. What if she's still there? That's if she's still in the country. If not, then if not, then we've narrowed our search down to the entire world. Then we'll look anywhere, anywhere and everywhere. We have to start teleporting to random places and hope that we find her. Seth, that's insane. Do you have a better plan? No. Yeah, you're right. We have to just start packing, picking random constellations. If you're going to do that, there's a place I need to warn you against. It's strictly Contashero, but Electrobit conjured some nuclear tests back in the 90s in the, in the wildlands just outside New York. Things went a bit wary and the place became radioactive. Radiation levels are still super high. I, w I wouldn't want you randomly teleporting into the middle of that. Thanks for the advice. That's that's the place called so we can avoid it. Oh, test site 4724. Catchy. Yeah, no one ever calls it that. The radiation caused everything to have this weird burnt out amber colour. Huh. Which explains its nickname. Nickname? Yeah, here at Electro Bit we call it the Blood Orange. What? Wait, 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 wait. is that what you were talking about? What the hell is happening? Okay, now this is cool. Okay, now I'm getting giddy. All right, well that does it for these episodes. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that dis hit that subscribe button and that bell icon for notifications. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Right, so next time, guys.